So we are moving our family from New Zealand. Hey guys, um, so today I just wanted to, you know, go over um, something that we're currently in the process of doing and we wanted to share it with you guys. So we are moving our family from New Zealand. We're not going far, we're just going across the ditch, Australia, but it really is a process. Um, we did, we thought about doing this I think it was around two years ago when, when Javi proposed the idea and I said to him, no, we're not doing that. We're not leaving New Zealand. This is like, I grew, I grew up here and I, my kids are born here and we just settled, you know? Um, but he said, look, I feel like it's time for us to start a new chapter in our lives. Um, where we're at now, we, we've sort of reached a, what, what's the point? That's the word for it we've reached the the we're, we're almost plateauing that's the way <laughs> the plateau so everything is just pretty much we we are very grateful for the things we have and things we've accomplished as a family individually and as a family but we feel like there's still so much more to to do and in our careers there's so much more to do and a lot of the stuff we are wanting to do and places we want to go with our family, New Zealand can't offer that. And because of that, we've decided to move. And so he convinced me um, a few months ago and I said to him, okay, if we're going to do it, we need to plan it out well. And at the moment, we're in the process of deciding, initially we were going to take everything with us because, you know, um, I, I like to be in my safe zone. <laughs> I do take risks and I'm very spontaneous and I'm, you know, headstrong in my decisions because I'm a Taurus. But in saying that, I do love some sort of comfort in, in family and whatever. So that was the reason why I initially didn't want to go because I thought, oh, we're, we don't have any family members there. I don't have a support system or just people you can just, you know, like, hey, what's up? Come over for dinner. Like, so now we've decided you know what we're just gonna do it and my initial um idea was that we're gonna take everything we have all our household items and go with them and literally like last night i think we looked at each other we sold one of our cars and we're gonna sell we're in the process of selling the second one and i think we looked at each other and we thought should we should we send everything or are all these things replaceable you know and because we're moving to a new environment, it's not like the things we have. Like I understand people who are in their 50s or 60s and thinking of moving because they have things that, you know, they've probably had their lifetime, most of their life. And so, you know, but mo we're a young family. My style specifically is constantly changing, you know. And um, so I think it's still, we're early days and we can, uh, we're not losing too much just selling everything and going, you know? So that's a decision we're, we're made, we've made already in that we're gonna sell all our household items and whatever is left over we can go with, but ideally we wanna take, we wanna sell majority of everything. We just wanna take our clothes and that's it. Um, and it's almost, it almost reminds me of like Gary V. I I don't know if you guys um, watch Gary Vandercheck. I hope I'm saying it right, but um, Gary V, check him out. He has some awesome, awesome resources on his um, social media platforms. And he talks about, you know, if you're ambitious and you, you're an entrepreneur, you want to take a new step in your life. Like people will tell him like, hey, I want to start a business, but I don't have $20,000 to do it. Or I, I want to start some sort of, you know, just doing something, but they don't have the funds to do it. And he said, yet you're sitting in a household full of stuff that is worth close to 40 grand and so it's a matter of just how bad do you want it are you willing to sacrifice like temporary satisfaction for long-term you know gratification <laughs> long-term success and another person who talks a lot about this um is dave ramsey he talks about it he says you know where if you want to take a new step he deals more about being debt free so he says if you want to get debt free 
lose everything, sell everything in the house, sell your car so you stop repayments, sell everything to the point where the kids feel like they're next. <laughs> And the only way, and that will help you establish something. But for us, I think it's more like our long-term goal um, is to to give our our children a family home. You know, we want to have like a, a a zone where it's just this is home for them until they're you know much older. And so part of that, I, I thought, look, we have so many resources at the moment already. Why not sell everything, top it up when we get there, buy slowly and, and figure it out. You know what I mean? And Australia is not too far off from New Zealand anyway. So, you know, it's not like the style is going to be any different. So I'm quite um, grateful that we had that epiphany, like, OK, maybe we should do this. Um, but it's sad, you know, we're taking photos of our items and we're thinking, oh, snap, look at all the stuff. And most of the stuff we bought cash. Um, so it's not like, you know, it, it, it's a big loss in, I mean, I know my husband is so attached to his tech stuff, like the TV, I remember him, he, he loves bigger, the bed, the bigger, the better. So he's like, yo, like his 65 inch TV has got to come to Australia. And I said, no, actually, you know, we can actually sacrifice that. And cause I know he bought a cat, like he legit, he was, I said to him, no, we don't need a big TV. I'm happy without a TV. And he said, no, 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 we do. Um, and I said, okay, if you're going to get it, you, you figure it out. And he did. He literally was like, okay, how much is it? Two and a half grand, I think it was at the time. And he um, worked hard. He did some gigs and then he paid it up front. One day he just came back. I think it was like last October, came back with it. So stuff like that, you know, for him, um, I think he had a moment where he said, you know what? I think that's more important. Our long-term goals are more important because everything here is replaceable. You know, um, and I love decor too. So it's sad to part with some of these items, but you know, you do what you gotta do. Um, and you know, first thing, I think we might do a video later on on things to do, just because it's been a learning process as we're going. There are things that we realize that we should have done earlier, and things that we realize that you know what, this was not a priority. <laughs> like we should not have spent that much time investing in this. So during the process, so we might do that. Um, things to take into consider a video of like a list of maybe like 20 things to take into consideration before you're moving your whole family. Um, it's been a very, very lesson. It's it been a very great journey for us so far. Um, but yeah, we're going to take you guys along and um, no, no. Would you like to add something? Would you like, do you have anything to say about the move to Australia? I'm pretty excited. You come closer. Yeah. And um, I'm a bit like no nervous. Why are you nervous? Because um, it's my first time going to Australia. Yeah, yeah. And I think also another thing for us is you're going to start a new school and the schooling system there is slightly different to New Zealand in that where in New Zealand you start school at five. So year one, you're five and year two, you're six. But over there, year one is six, you're six years old. So she's gonna go continue, um, start all over again from year one, which is a little bit like, oh, cause she's already in year two here in New Zealand. But we found a great school for her. And are you ready to make new friends? Are you? Yeah. yeah? Are you excited to make new friends? And also the, the new school has a uniform. So you're gonna wear a uniform every day. Every day? Yeah. It's going to be cute. I can't wait for the uniform pics. <laughs> Anything else you want to say to everyone? Yeah. No. Yeah, so we're all excited, guys. Anyway, so we'll keep you posted. Um, uh, we are really looking forward to it. So, ciao. Bye. Mwah, mwah.